All right, I'm Sister Margaret O'Rourke, and I was known at the mound as Sister Margaret Marie when I taught there. And I am just returning from 26 years in Chile, and so I chose to live with one of the communities on the Doheny campus for now. Well, I grew up all over Southern California. My, my parents um, came west during the Depression uh, to find work, and my mother found work in San Diego, uh, where I was born. And by the time we got out of the hospital, my dad had found work, so we moved to Oceanside. But in those years, it was almost like the old religious communities. He just had to go wherever they sent him. And so by the time I was 10 years old, I had lived in San Diego, Oceanside, um, Hermosa Beach, Palm Springs, uh, Simi Valley, and Los Angeles. So I just say that I'm from Southern California. And um, maybe that was good preparation for religious life because I learned that you had to leave what you knew, but you always discovered something new. <laughs> so when did you realize you had a calling or vocation? Um, in high school, um, during, during, from my sophomore to my senior year, I worked at a girls camp near Arrowhead. And we were count, boys and girls counselors uh, from oh, about 16 to 21, most, most of us. And so when we weren't on charge, we'd get together and talk about everything. And uh, I began to realize that when my boyfriend said, my girl, I had a kind of negative reaction. I felt like um, a possession or something. Some of my girlfriends thought that was wonderful. I mean, <laughs> they loved it. And we began to talk about things like that. And so actually, um, four of us who were, had been counselors over the years uh, decided to try out religious life. And um, my mother was a teacher, um, first grade. <laughs> I knew I didn't want to teach first grade, but I knew I wanted to be a teacher from the time I was just a little kid. So how did you get involved with the Mount? Well, after we made first vows, we were sent to the Mount to study. And of course that was very interesting because here it is in the middle of March and the school year, the semester, is half over. So we're in this Latin class with reading from the middle of Dea Machitia to the end with the students and then on other two days a week we're by ourselves reading from the beginning. <laughs> so it was it was a challenge but we were young and and it was fun. <laughs> so that was my first uh, time at the Mount. Then in um, uh, 58, um, they asked me to study for my master's at UCLA and teach part-time at the Mount. And I mostly taught um, microbiology and genetics during my time there. When did you go to Chile? In 87. And what yeah. did you do there? Well, he said, just love my people, <laughs> get to know them, and don't do anything unless there are Chileans willing to take the leadership. What's your favorite memory of Chile? Oh, probably when I was in a, a parish um, out n near the coast. Uh, Chile has coastal hills very much like California. And this parish, the, the little town had about 3,000 3, inhabitants. But we had 26 base communities out in the hills. And so um, we formed a, a team of six people 
uh, mostly lay people, um, uh, to go out on weekends and uh, help the communities with whatever they needed help. I mean, <laughs> you might arrive and find out that they were waiting for you to baptize a baby, or you might have, we never knew what we were gonna find. But it was, it was a great time. Um, and uh, I love doing that. <laughs> Besides my involvement in a variety of things at the Mount, um, I think the highlight was um, when I was asked to, to begin the program on Doheny campus. There were five of us uh, when the Cardinal gave us the property. Um, Sister Rebecca um, asked us to put together a AA program. <laughs> I think Sister Cecile Therese and myself are the only ones of that group still alive. Uh, and now to see it, it's fabulous. <laughs> You're back here on campus mm -hmm. where you started this amazing program and you see how it's grown. How does that make you feel? Well, good, of course. That. Um, you know, you can plant a seed and somebody else can water and <laughs> help it grow. And I think that's how we feel about Chile too. That, um, you know, um, things, the, things will go on because of the, the bishop's wisdom of we not taking charge. And so everything we were involved in uh, will go on. <laughs>